One of the most unique festivals across the entire country takes place in Banner Elk, North Carolina next weekend on the 15th and 16th of October, and it is the Woolly Worm Festival. And today I'm joined by Roy Craigie and Meriwether. Meriwether, having a good time here in Unicoi. Got plenty of apples to eat around hey, here. <laughs> We've been watching those great desserts too, so uh, I don't know how Meriwether eats cake or not, but she'd love to try some. But app the Apple Festival is going on this weekend. We want all those folks to come over the mountain and check out the Woolly Worm Festival. That would be great. The trees are getting absolutely fabulous up mm -hmm. there. So in a, less than two weeks, it's going to be beautiful up there. Our main thing is to race worms. We'll race as many as 12 to 1,500 of them on Saturday, 800 to 900 on Sunday. The winning worm has to race three times. Can you believe in even, even the Olympics three times. for a worm to race anybody to race three times and then we check that worm to be sure it doesn't have any illegal steroid stimulants no singeing of the hair like <laughs> i happen to have on top and we judge the weather the unique thing about a woolly worm mm -hmm. it's the only insect that has or animal that has 13 distinct body sections and most people don't know there's 52 weeks in a year they know that there's right. four seasons and every season has 13 weeks, weeks and a woolly worm has 13 body sections. So he's so, telling us all about winter. That's right, once we have that worm and he's justified, then we judge the weather based on each week, the color of that. We have 150 some craft booths, 30 some food booths, oh. unbelievable all day music, all kind of activities for the kids, and a lot of this great food. I see some <laughs> we'd like to take up there. There you go. Some of those cakes and all those things we just saw here. I think Miss Wanda could probably make that happen for you if we if if we got that covered. But let's talk about that. A thousand dollars to the winner. That winning that winning woolly worm. Thousand dollars, and we get to tell what the winner is going to be like from that win. Absolutely. Yeah. First, they win twenty-five dollars when they win their heat. Right. Then they win a hundred dollars for their semifinal. Then a thousand dollars. So it's really neat, and we've made. Worldwide news, we've been on the Paul Harvey show before, been on the Today Show, been on a lot of great things, and of course we're thrilled to be on this channel here today, Channel 11, we appreciate that so much. Uh, you all have always been good to us and helped us with our publicity. When you when you started out, this was a very humble beginning for you all, and it has just blossomed. Extreme. I mean, it's just blown up. We had less than 50 people, but who's going to come race a worm is right. what you think. <laughs> and now over 20,000, so it, it is exciting. Everybody has a good time. It's neat. We'll have three-year-olds racing, right. and we'll have 90-year-olds right. racing. And you think the 90-year-old barely gets up there like I do now, but once that worm starts moving, they're jumping <laughs> and carrying on, and it's an exciting time. And the lady that won last year, all the way from Florida, she had a worm she nicknamed Twinkle Toes. Right. Twinkle Toes took home the big money last year. It's one of the neatest things, the ne what they name their worms. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that this year we'll have a lot of political names from some of the adults. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. With, with our contestants, <laughs> so I might have to check some of those out before we actually race. But it's just a great festival. All right, Roy Craigie, thank you so thank much you. for coming Appreciate by. Your... Bringing up, we actually added a couple of woolly worms yes, you Tennessee did. Right. to your stock here. So I hope they do really well this great. week. All See right. you next week. It weekend. is the Woolly Worm Festival. Banner out, folks. Get over there the 15th and 16th. We'll be back with more daytime Tri-Cities in just a moment.